All right, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be showing you how we fuse our fireworks on our board. Yesterday we showed you a video of how we glued them onto our boards and they set up overnight. So today we're going to be showing you how we start the fusing and we fuse all the boards together. Now once the boards are all fused together, like I said yesterday, then you can take your boards to wherever your show is at, set them up, and then fuse the two boards three boards, in my case 10, 15 boards together, and you'll have a show. But we're gonna be just showing you how we fuse the boards together today, and uh, that'll take us into uh, basically getting maybe one or two more scab items for the show, and uh, <coughs> basically then just take you up outside, set them up, and then we'll show you once we get them set up on New Year's Eve, how we fuse the boards that are already fused together, which we're gonna do today. Then we're gonna fuse those together. I know it uh, sounds complicating, but it's really quite simple. Anybody can do it. I just started getting into this fusing them all together deal not really too long ago, and all I did was basically start off by watching YouTube videos and asking uh, Al from Al's Fireworks on how, how he does it and how I should do it, and uh, it's really quite simple. So um, we're gonna take you to the other part of the basement, and we're gonna show you how we uh, set it up and uh, start the fusing process. All right, now in this particular part of the show, this is going to be my first board as you remember from yesterday. They're pretty stable on there now. They're not going nowhere with the liquid nails. I am going to use what they call cannon fuse, which it runs about anywhere from 15 uh, to 20 seconds a foot. So I'm gonna start the show off a little slower and then I'm gonna hit, move into what you, they call perfect fuse, which is this color. And uh, that'll run in my like three or four boards down the line. We'll speed up the show a little bit. Then for uh, once I get to my finale, I'm gonna use this stuff called Quick Fuse. This stuff's about three seconds a foot. And uh, it, it really does burn <laughs> pretty quick. So that's good finale stuff. But for the beginning of our show, all you need really is some fuse, which I'm gonna use, like I said, this perfect fuse, which is the green stuff. I'll probably put a tail of, in between here of the quicker stuff to get to here. Then once I run these couple first boards, I'll use whatever up I got left of this stuff, start to show off a little slower, and then I'll hit with that perfect fuse. So we'll show you how we're gonna do it with this green fuse here, this perf or this uh, cannon fuse, and then we'll um, we'll show you how we fuse them together. So basically all you need is fuse and zip ties, and uh, maybe some wire dykes or a Leatherman or whatever you got. So we'll start ripping off these, uh, these fuses and, and then getting them all set up here for you, and we'll show you how we do it. All right, now all the fuses are ripped off. We're gonna start by taking this cannon fuse and I'm gonna leave a little tail on it this way. Since it's come, it's gonna be burning from this way, you wanna always have your fuse facing the way it's burning, as we said in the previous videos, in 41 and 42. Those videos there you can see on our page are um, a little bit more instructional on the fusing part of the Roman candle rack and of when I glued, I explained it too. So I'm gonna leave a little tail here for me to hook on some quicker fuse to get to my other stuff. But uh, that is what we're gonna do. And then all you need is some smaller zip ties or whatever you got. I like to use smaller. I wish I had smaller than this even. And uh, I'll just make a loop to start off. And then I'll leave a little tail on it. And then you just start fusing them, but make sure, like I said, the fuse is the exact same way that it's burning from. Otherwise, you won't it won't work. So we'll get this board fused up. We'll show you how we do that. Then we'll uh, we'll check back in with you here once we get a little bit farther down the road because once we do one board, you guys should get the point. So then I always like to cut these off, and you want to make sure your zip ties are somewhat tight. And uh, there's my little tail, which I'll connect either cannon fuse or perfect fuse 
or quick fuse to and I'll do the same concept this way to get to my bigger Roman candles that I got down I'll have on this end of the show when I set it up so we'll show you how we're gonna keep fusing it on here it's pretty it's really a quite simple ordeal and, and even if you're not doing a fireworks show at home and uh, you just want to connect three four fireworks together so you don't have to sit there and light them th this is the same concept so it uh it works out and it, it, it it's really quite a fun hobby to get into it can get quite expensive but if you know the right people and you get the deals when you can get them you can do a show like i'm going to do on new year's for a couple hundred dollars you just got to know when to shop and you got to shop around uh i do like to go to almost one place though ales but uh you can get other deals at other places you know it's different tents in the summer around the fourth of july and and uh let me turn you a little bit here and all that when they're doing them sales so you just gotta know when to buy what to buy and once you get into it a little more um <coughs> you uh you know what you kind of like to buy and what you don't want to buy different brands are different you know like these little Saturn missiles you know they're not not too much money but they add a cool effect for what you know they just whistle and pop they add a cool effect in your show and you always want to have a couple of those in there so we'll be uh we'll be doing this green fuse for the first couple boards slower burning and then we'll hit it with some of that perfect fuse speed it up a little bit so it'll 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 be a great show like i said so it really doesn't take you long to wear these boards up once you get moving you know you just get after it and it doesn't take too long at all now like i said in the previous videos you're going to want to make sure your zip ties are tight so that the fuse that is existing on the cake does not slip off your fuse that you're putting on there because if it does this runs literally the whole show so once it starts down here and it runs this piece will keep burning it'll veer off onto those but uh that that's about you, you do not want to lose your fuse because then you'll be running around with a torch trying to chase and look for where you're where you're uh where you're at so we'll check back in with you here this is pretty much how you do it i'll cut them off and then i'll leave i'll cut this off about here and leave a tail so i can fuse on another one when i get my boards outside i can put uh some fuse in between but that's about how you fuse up a board it's pretty simple let me get you in here closer so you can see what i did see this fuse is coming off here and it's facing that way towards my burn is going to come down this way on my fuse i put on so uh it is really quite simple and uh we'll check back in with you here once we get to some bigger cakes and uh once we get a little bit towards the end it's just a quick little video on how to uh on at least on how i fuse my boards together Here is uh, some one out of three or four of my finale boards. What I did is I used the quick fuse here. It's the same concept as fusing anything else, but it's just two, three second a foot burning fuse. So I left a little tail here so I can connect it on to uh, the end of the regular show. And then I'll have two other boards here, here, and here with uh, tails coming off of them, off of this string 
coming this way and this way. And I'll have them all measured out the same length so all these boards are going off at the same time. So as you can see, it's just a different color fuse, but it's called Quick Fuse, and I just stopped it there because that's the end of it. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's the same concept, like I said, but it's just faster burning fuse, so I'll have three or four boards all going off at the same time. All right, here it is. All of it's all fused up. I'll start the show off with four of those cyber candles, which are 140 shots a piece, and then I'll hit it into all of this. Of course, I'll get it set up on Thursday outside, and I'll show you guys, run through how I fused the two boards together, and uh, then I'll show you guys how we... Uh, get it all set up and how I do my strategies and then I'll go through all these fireworks and show you and, and tell you about what they each do and and what we like and what we're trying new so these these three boards here that one this one this one that big three inch right there and these uh that noab and uh there's one on the bottom called here we go on the Saturn missile here will all be in the finale so there's gonna be a lot of stuff going off at one time that uh, Roman candle rack there is going to be in the middle of the show i got placed somewhere else then i got to go back to ales fireworks and get a box of artillery shells because i got two mortar racks that i get got to get set up yet and i'll maybe do a separate segment on showing you guys how i do my mortar racks so but like i said if you like this video give us a thumbs up check out some of our other videos especially some of our other firework videos that kind of all lead up to this uh new year's eve show and uh give us a comment and like I always say, we'll see you on the next go around.